I really got much to say guys, I'm just admiring the view. I've done a great deal of reading up on the Great Sphinx. So guys, this is the tombs for the people who worked at the pyramids. And they reckon it took 100,000 people, or 100,000 men. I was the camel. If you watched my last video at the pyramids, which was approximately 13 minutes long, what I failed to mention was that when I was walking down this slope to leave, I was approached by a man and asked to turn off my camera. I was then asked if I would like to go with him to access the restricted areas which are off limits to tourists. Being intrigued, I gratefully accepted. I spent a further two hours on the site and what happened next blew my mind and a memory that will stay with me for the rest of my life. This is what happened next. That's the engineer, and this is the wife of the engineer. Okay. Up the head, that's the name and the position. Down here, that's the story. But almost 90% from the story is damaged. Yeah. Because the weather. Yeah. Only 10% from the story here. And you're going to see Anubis here, front of you. Anubis when he set. Okay. You're going to see here, that's the watchman, the garden. Yeah. He catch the stake and he watch the place. Because those believers, he believe he come back again. Okay. He put everything under the ground. Because he's safe. He make it safe. With gold, with the stuff, with everything. But now all the things in the Egyptian museum. Because this around digging. Yeah. The yeah. people dig it and he put it in the Egyptian museum in Cairo. Yeah. Okay. Come. Time. You have new place. You was find it from six months ago. Yep. Yep. This is digging. Someone is from American, Doctor Mark. He be digging. He find another tombs. 
Okay, so that is still under the ground. So it's an Amer American archaeologist digging? Yes. Okay. But you not can make with a machine all by hand. Yeah. Free hand. It take long time. Yeah. Because this something from 5,000 years ago. Yeah. It's not uh, new tombs or something. Yeah. 5,000 years. That's the face of the pharaoh. And this is the right in the ancient language from 5,000 years. And this is the wife of the man. And this is the secret tombs, secret. Why secret? Because he keep all the things same I told you. How I know there's a secret from this story here. Coming this side, that's the key of life. Key of life, this is the cartouche, the name of the person. This is the cartouche, you're gonna see in the papyrus museum. You're gonna write your name or your girlfriend name or father, mother, and cartouche like this. But this shame, the people, you I cut it. You later. It's nice. Yep. You'll see all the pictures of the fellow people. Okay, yeah. If you want to put your name, you and your family in the council. This is Anubis. He's be back of the person. Anubis, that's the god for mummified moon vacation. His three parts. First part, you look like the dog. Second part, you look like the lion. Third part, you look like the fox. Dog is Anas or wild. Lion is strong. Fox is clever. He means he knew everything about the mummified moon vacation. This is the person here. Front of the person, you have key of life to open the heart to come again to the second life. And here all the things you collect from the life. Here you have eye of Horus with the lotus flower. You see, yep. lotus flower, that's the holy flower. He was finding in the river Nile. Some place in Fayum Oasis, you have big garden from the lotus flower. This gentleman, you're gonna take you later on to show you the base of the lotus flower, the ancient oil. Okay. He was rubbed the mummy with the lotus flower. He gonna take care of you, he take you to the factory. Factory, he, he give you the, the real things, the, the good quality. And this is the story of the person. In the end of the story, you're gonna see two guys. One, you hold the lotus flower, and one, you hold the papyrus plant. Lotus flower, that's the holy flower, same I told you before. You was rubbed the mummy, all from the lotus flower. The papyrus plant, he write all the story in the papyrus. And roll it, and he put it beside the mummy because he needed it for the second life. If you look at this side, you're gonna see small hole, but from inside is big hole. He beat all the things you collect from the life, like gold, facet, like the scarab, everything you put it with him, because when he wake up again from the second life, he find it all that. Yeah. Come in this side. If you look on the right side, come up and you look. That's all this, the alphabet, the holy grief. That's the dream room. Okay. He gonna sleep here and he be dreaming. After when he wake up from the dreaming, he write everything in store like this because he not forget. It's called, that's the dream room. Okay. I hope you understand my English. Yeah. Yeah, good English, good. That's the lotus flower. Don't miss this flower for your mother, for your girlfriend, for your sister. That's the holy flower for your brother. This Horus, Horus the strong guide. That's the beetle. That's the scarab you're gonna see in the zodiac, the life, an ancient life in the papyrus. Okay. Zodiac, he mean like the ancient life. 
you're gonna see their eyes. You're gonna see the ju yeah. judgment. Here, that's the cartouche. This cartouche, he was the king wear the cartouche, but by gold. Uh -huh. Your father, your mother, your sister, your girlfriend, he can wear it. He collected the name by holy grief, by alphabet. And this is the Amf, the key of life. River Nile, the sun. The sun, you was believe that's Amur Ra. This is Amun, the god of the sun. Okay, yep. Amun Poland. Don't be afraid because there's some bobbies, little bobbies. Wow. It's <laughs> only that quarter. I didn't expect to see these here. That's what thing. This is Lata. It's not one. It's more than ten. Well, the ten. I didn't expect to see them. <laughs> no. That's the second king in alabaster stone. Alabaster stone. That's around the alabaster stone. The holy grief, and the second king. That's the second king. King Khafra. 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 The niche tombs. <laughs> niche tomb that he was the decoration of the tombs here. This tomb is very important because the sun was visit the place two times in the day. No. All this one piece of stone. Here, there was the people take the energy, the power for cold place. I'm gonna sit for a while here. You're gonna see from 5,000 years the smell of the lotus flower is still like. Okay, let's try it. Before you sit, you can see. This hole, it was the sun visit the place. No, that's the statue of Amur Ra. Amur Ra, that's the god of the sun. Okay. Yeah. In ancient time, he was buried for Amur Ra two times in the day. One when the sun rise, one when the sun set. How I know this Amur Ra? You must have this story here. Come, follow me, I'm gonna show you the story. Yeah, the fish, because you have the first four. You be strong. You not re eat the red meat, like the cow or yeah. the buffalo or something like this. All in the fish. You can see, all this you can root and he's seen in the wall because in ancient time you, you need to sign everything. Yeah. 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 Only you can have the papyrus and you have the stone only. No more else. Yeah. The papyrus is written and the stone like this. Perfect. If you look at the second pyramid, in the top of the second pyramid, you was have the alabaster stone, the marble stone. Alabaster stone is come from Luxor. This stone here, that's the alabaster stone. This is the alabaster stone, this is the real alabaster stone that she come from Luxor. Yeah, uh, because Ahmed, yeah, he, he took to me and helped him. I'm gonna take your picture with the statue of the second king. Come on, I'm gonna show perfect. All these were tombs, he cut it by hand. Go. 
you're gonna see the sarcophagus that's for the mummy. You have two sarcophagi, one with the wood and one limestone. Go inside. And no. I help you because you're thin. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Don't worry. You see the sarcophagus and you see the tombs. No anybody go here, but I help. Guys, we're not meant to actually be in here, but Ahmed spoke to the security guard and he's letting us in. What a great day this is going to be. Very long day as well, but worth it. says that no tourists are allowed in this area but walking about here there's certainly no tourists and I mean it's started to fill up now so there's plenty of tourists at the Sphinx and the pyramids but absolutely no tourists about this area so it could be right. Half moon, eye of Horus, the temple, the tree pyramid, with half moon also, and all this the hieroglyph, and this the two person, one man and one lady, front of him, his this guide he cook for him everything, what he cook, leave him down, the gazelle. I was the cow with lotus solar and the papyrus. That's the, the blend of the papyrus. And this guy, he gonna make help him for the second life. You see this guy? Yeah. He was sitting like that to help him with the papyrus blend. Papyrus blend is the important. Yeah. You see? And I was here. You see the awes? Yep. You're gonna cook for him awes. See his hand, you put it front of the awes with a skin. And this look, the key of life. And this is the false tombs, false decoration. I'm gonna show you the secret tomb where. Okay. But I, that's false tombs. Go up from here. And stand here and you lock two rooms under the ground. Not one in the right, one in the left. You see how deep? Yeah, very That's deep. the secret tombs. It was everything inside these tombs. One for the man and one for the lady. Yeah, very deep. And the entrance like that, because the sun didn't rise it's like that. Okay, come down. Tombs, 
That's the headdress man. You know the headdress? Headdresser? Yes, he cut the hair of the king only. Stand and see and put your... That's your thing. And you smell it. You smell the ancient energy. Yeah, guys, it's definitely not there about this part. Yeah. Told me to keep the camera down in case any of the archaeologists and engineers mm. seen me over here. No, that's the man who cooked the, the eat for the king. That's the king. And this man, he gonna help the king. He gonna follow the king, he help him. And this is the key of life. River Nile, the sun, when he set key of life here. You see? Yeah. Everything by your eyes. Look, this is one statue here. But this statue, we take it and put it in the Egyptian museum. Yeah. It was a stand. See? Look. They open the heart in the papyrus. And Sekhmet. Sekhmet is some god. And this is all right in the ancient hilligrip. I'm going to show you, and you feel it by, by your hand, the nose of the king, and the mouth, and the eye, and the head. Touch your hand, and you feel it. You are low? Can't reach. <laughs> One second. Because this is your chance. I'm going to tell you crazy. I'm going to tell you crazy. Okay. Oh, you feel it? Yeah. All this free hand. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, put in it for bit your yes. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this one tombs that is damaged from the weather. But it's still some holy grief and some statue. That's the holy grief and this is the key of life. And these two person, one on the right, one in on the left. You see him? And this key of life here. You see him? Yeah. Go inside. I'm gonna show you the heart to come. Here. This is the heart to And this is all right in Hilly Grief. Something more than six thousand years old. Six thousand years. This is feel it in the Papyrus Museum. When you see the cartouche. Oh, I'm too long. What's that book? I just read this one. That's the man. And this is the lady. And this is all the story. What I have Horus. Son. This is all Anubis. Feel it by your hand. This is insane, guys. This is giving them our, the people. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. You see, that's the son of the second king. Wow. That's it. And you see the stuff of the sun. Not sure if you can see that through there, guys, but that's yeah. an absolute cracker. And this old story here, front of you. 
have a lobus when he stand, like the dog and the lion and the fox. You see him? Yep. And this was big letters here for alphabet that is damaged from the weather. So I can film is okay? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Here you find it. One entry after this, another entry for the tombs. Wow. This is for the, the, the tunnel, take you to the big pyramid. Or what, from here? Yeah, the tunnel? from here to the big pyramid. Wow. Now I'm going to show you by your eyes. Go to the picture. Rolling, that is closed because you know anybody go. So they've closed this tunnel, guys, but this tunnel takes you all the way to the big pyramid. That's insane. Hello. Yeah, The sky, the star, the star you was in the sky. Yep. And this is like key of life. This is the thing that was collected the heart inside. Or oh, this is the alphabet here. And this is obviously in the end of the story. In this tomb, you was half two men. One cartouche here, and right the cartouche here. And you see this person. That's the blend of the lotus and lotus. Was that the base of the lotus here? You see the person? Yep. Yeah. You see? From since 7,000 years, the people was make like this. Yeah. Now, the people shake hand like this, the corona. See that? Two hands. Yeah, the fist pump? Yeah. So they were doing that 7,000 yeah. years ago? Yes, like this. Look, <laughs> we do it in the Holy Grail. Go, look, make fun. Guys, what a day this has turned out to be. Fantastic. A little bit on edge though, in case we get into trouble, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Not sure if you can see the hieroglyphics up there. I just wonder what they'll find in the next couple of hundred years. It's absolutely crazy. The breeze is picking up a bit now guys, which is good. As that's the four statue of the children of the Sphinx. Okay. Children um, of the Sphinx? Yes. 
and this is the temple back of the children. This all this building is a temple. That's the entrance of the temple. Entrance of the deep. temple. Very deep. Yeah, very deep. It's around like 22 meters underground. Wow. see here but you can see the people digging there so that's the new the new find I'm not quite sure what it is but nobody's holding this pot so very grateful So everybody only thinks there's one, one sphinx. There's the two. Two sphinx. Look. Now, column, you can climb up. Gonna end up getting arrested, guys. So the guide was saying that everybody comes to see the Great Sphinx and everybody believes that there's only one sphinx, but this one's been discovered. It's absolutely massive. I had to turn the camera off there because there was other security guards and the engineers and archaeologists were nearby but what an experience that was absolutely phenomenal I didn't expect that signing off here from the Great Pyramids of Giza and I'll catch you on the next one I've been flying from town to town